She came, they didn't pop the balloon. I think too, as the show gets going on further and further, they have less opportunity to make things happen. So yeah. let's not just pop right away sort of idea because we might not get another, the next one might be worse. Yeah, exactly. You know, they might bring Ursula's sister back, <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know what to expect. So they're like, fuck it, I'm gonna listen to the end and then make a decision. <clears throat> Bro, it's getting killed. Oh my God. They should just allow the girls to kick them in the nuts. Like, <laughs> that's basically what this guy's doing. Like he's gonna yeah. go home in a fetal position right in the back of his Uber. So, <laughs> I feel sorry for you. I do, I do. He guy. seems like a really nice guy too. Yeah. I mean, just because he's not the most attractive guy or yeah. the most confident guy, but he could be a really nice guy. Yeah. And he's just not getting that chance. And he's pretty shy, man. It's like, hard, he's... man, though. It's like being on Tinder, right? She just yeah. using that swipe button as a toothpick. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Who do you think she's going to pop next? Well, from the look of her, she looks like she wants to play a little. So I do kind of see... It's between my uncle and Trey. Yeah, I think Trey, he's like looking down. He don't look interested at all. And it could just be the fact that his forehead's so heavy it pulls his head for I don't know. <laughs> like, <laughs> bro got like a bigger forehead than Rihanna. And I'm just saying, Rihanna's got a big forehead, but that guy's forehead, that's crazy. That receding hairline is nuts. Like, it's going faster than Noah Lyles in the Olympics. It's crazy. They got a less than 10 second forehead fucking run going on there. And Cedric, why did you have your balloon unpop? She looks nice. All right, and now why did we end up popping his balloon? Um, just the initial attraction. Was there anything specific? That was it. That's it's kind of true, though. He's not yeah, carrying the, himself confidently. Like, yeah, look at him. He's all, like, yeah, the, all, like, hiding himself. And yeah. he's, like, like he's this. Spray, looks like a five-year-old has to piss. You got to be a little, like, you know, you don't have to stand there like a chicken or something like that. Yeah. But, you know, just be confident. Be relaxed. They can tell. It's energy. She can tell. Yeah. She Ask the guys a question just to help you narrow it down. What is one thing that your closest friends will say that is that you need to work on as far as friendship and a partnership? Well, that's a good question. That was a tough one right there. Probably be like me reaching out if I need help or something like that. Because I'm usually like, I could do this on my own. I could do this on my own. But nah, sometimes I need to go out there and just ask for help whenever I need it, you know? So okay. that's pretty much it. As far as that's friendship and partnership? Partnership. Yeah, oh. so friendship and partnership. Oof. She is very critical. She's a good listener. Because she was listening to his answer. Yeah, yeah no, no, she's got an intelligent question there, too. Yeah. It's really good. That's a deep question. That's yeah. something you really should ask. I mean, honestly, you wouldn't ask that on the first date, but you know, it's her chance to make a better selection to break out the people that aren't going to be able to answer, like Trey. I like Kool Aid. You know, like <laughs> Trey ain't going to be able to answer that question well at all. I guarantee you. Wait till we oh. get to Trey, people. It's coming up, and that shit's going to be fucking He's, fun. No, no, no. He's probably going to copy whatever someone else yeah, said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that whatever he said. <laughs> Way to be original, Trey. Um, again, probably reaching out or I don't know. That's what for me. I need to go back. I gotta come back for that one. It's a okay. little tough one. <laughs> okay. It's a tough question. All right. Something I need to work on is a friendship that all my friends say because all my friends are established, married, families, and everything yeah. enters me. So I need to understand and work on that. Uh, I'm the single friend in life, so I can't keep calling up Tim and him every day. Like, hey, bro, let's do this. Yeah. He got a life. He got a family. And everything. I'm the single friend, too. It's okay. And, which is what I'm trying to accomplish and be there one day. As a relationship, what I need to work on and understand is that I think a lot that I've learned are my biggest downfall with that. Like, the reason I don't have the relationship that I'm looking for and everything is because of what I'm liking. What I'm, you know, used to, I can't get that happily ever after. Mm -hmm. based on what I like and everything. So I need to realize my wants and needs and everything like that and get that. I need to go back to the drawing board and really have more predictable or understandable terms. And, you know, when it comes to looking for a relationship. He right? just, just fucked himself big time on it. He actually, right. he sounded pretty good with the friendship thing, but then with the relationship thing, yeah, he fucked she, himself because he basically said, I don't know what I want. Yeah, she's listening too. She's, she's got him as soon as he said that. He doesn't know what he wants. He yeah. straight up just said it. I don't really know what I want. I need to figure out what I, like, you just here for fun then. You go hey, figure out what you want. Hey, guy, remember? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Go figure out what you want before you want a relationship. Maybe I'll find that person. Never lower your expectation. Never lower them. If you want what you want, stick to it. Look, it's kind of like looking for love in today's generation. It's like I'm looking for that old school love with modern You're looking woman. for a four leaf clover. It's okay, stick to it. Yeah, that, that, that's fine, but when I'm surrounded by Gen Z type of women mentality, like these young women mentality. Change your environment. That's why I'm in Arizona, Chicago, <laughs> AZ. Okay, let's go on to our next guy. I'm Trey, I'm 29. Um, as far as friendship, <laughs> probably communicating, like when needing help, reaching out. Dude, um, he copied, he copied straight up. 
Trey, you got no friends. Just admit it. You got no friends. The people at the center you you go for for like assistance and stuff like that, they're not your friends. They work with you because the government pays them to work with you. <laughs> Come on, bro. You gotta be honest with yourself. <laughs> You're still in drug rehab. <laughs> They're trying to wean you off the Kool-Aid slowly. Like, be honest, bro. What the fuck? You can't even answer a question authentically. What is up with this guy? Seriously. Like, Jesus Christ. Big I don't know what's Shout out to on, my man. guy, man. <laughs> Go off the Kool-Aid. Sorry it's crazy. Relationship-wise, probably expressing my feelings when before things get past dudes to where like you should have expressed them in the beginning I, I gotta do better with just expressing them at the beginning of like when i when i feel them letting that my partner know that'd probably be the two main things out of okay oh yes my name is timothy i'm 37 um as far as friendship they would probably want me to level up more more like finan financially and as a partnership <laughs> i would say that's ironic i just told you day trading is a very dangerous job and it's a gamble so they want you to level up financially. You said you're a professional day trader, so you suck at it. So like, obviously stop day trading then. Find a real career He's that gives money. you good opportunities at making a stable money. monetary income rather than trying to gamble all the time and hope for the best. <laughs> I get it. There's a lot of studying going into day trading. Don't get me wrong, but the uh, market is controlled by other people. Yeah. You don't have control over the market. So find something st stable that you appreciate that you can work on a build and then you'll make money that you appreciate rather than just getting it because somebody else did something you just happen to have money in the pot to grow with it all right so my thing is i'm very picky in certain things and i also i expect a lot from my partner sometimes and i think that could be a downfall for me so like when i'm with that person sometimes i could be a little picky sometimes with what she do or what it might be the case but i'm trying to work on that side of me i'm a virgo so that's a part of me so yeah just letting you know <laughs> <laughs> nice to know. all right so i am gonna have you pop one balloon yeah day trader all right so why did we end up popping his balloon his response lack of affection um i feel like my love language is affectionate is like the least like the last one for me but i can be affectionate when it comes to my partner so we both can't like those things mm -hmm. like one of us have to want to give that part of us you know and then you say love what with your finances i don't know what that looks like for you for me like and this is isn't a big thing but i'm a big person at, one point, I mean. at some point finances will be a big thing for me because of like who I am, I'm a designer. I'm a you say you don't know. What is oh, so she wants to grow because she's she's a designer. So I'm. She just said I'm a big uh, person. Okay. So I'm like, what does that mean? Like you you require somebody to buy you a lot of stuff because if you're a designer, then you should be able to provide a lot of the stuff for yourself. Maybe she means that she's a big person. I was like, uh, designing is my big thing. I'm, I don't care about the money right now, but money will come type of thing. Like I'm, I'm more focused on. Yeah, but um, he even said I need to level up my yeah. my finances. So if he's, he's in the same up. boat. Yeah, but if she's in the same boat, then why is that a bad thing? He's so. she, she probably don't even like his The affection there. thing she yeah, did say. I mean, so. that makes sense. If you're not cuddly yeah. and I'm not cuddly, that relationship's going to stuck. Yeah. You know, it's not really going to be a fun relationship. We can just be friends, you know. I want at least us, I want us to be at the same level, if that makes sense. I would say I've been told that before. So when I say pay attention to more detail, more like in that moment, you may want some affection. I may not be there at the moment, but if I pay more attention to detail, I can pick up okay, you want to be held or something like that. Just those, it's just a little thing. It's not like mm -hmm. that's, I'm not doing nothing. It's just those little detail things I get I get spanked for pretty much. Those little things will be big things. That's true. That's <laughs> yeah. true. She does wear her outfit very nice, though. Yeah, like she, she she doesn't look like she's the fittest girl but yeah. she's wearing her outfit nice enough to make herself not like over accentuate everything and she looks like if she trained a little bit she could she actually be nice, super yeah. dope like she's yeah. got a pretty nice body on her um yeah I, I, overall she's pretty decent yeah like everything she's very smart she speaks well she knows what she wants you know she listens as well she kind of seems hippie-ish a little bit with her like her aura i guess it yeah. seems like she's more of a like relaxed person she's all into the design and all that stuff and hairstyle things so it's yeah. more of like a, i feel like she's more hippie -ish and she's and a homebody too she's relaxing that, yeah, yeah.